Hello everyone. So today in this particular video we are going to discuss about growth hormones and their management that means and their function. Okay. So what are the different growth hormones are there and what are the different different functions each and everything we will discuss in this particular video. Okay. So without wasting time let's begin. As you can see, seven important growth hormones are there. Those are your auxin, cytokinin, giverlins, abscessic acid, ethylene, chloramquat, and your malic hydrazide. Okay, so one by one we will discuss everything. First, coming to this growth hormone that is your auxin, here we can see this auxin. Okay, that is named by F. W. Went. Very, very important. Who has given the name auxin? He is your F. W. Went. It has epical bot dominance. That means whatever the above ground uh, dominance is there, epical growth will be there. That will be dominated by this hormone auxin. But it will inhibit the root elongation. That means this low ground, yes or no? Below ground things will be somewhat inhibited and promote cell division in the tissue culture. Okay. Both three points are important. You see, different auxin and some other synthetic auxins are there. What are those? You can see IAA, IBA, NA, all are there. So, first one is your what? IAA. What is IAA? That is your indole acetic acid. I think you most of all, uh, all of you know. Yes or no? If you don't know, you please write down indole acetic acid. What is the function? You see, they prevent premature fruit drop very very important they prevent premature that means uh, sometimes what happens before mature only the fruits will drop off okay so if you apply this ia then what will happen this premature fruit drop will be stopped it is a management yes or no so and it is also known as what a natural oxygen hormone okay next one is your iba what is that indole butyric acid if you don't know then you please write down note it down indole butyric acid Mainly used for what your root formation. For root formation, what happens? IBA is used. Next one is your what? NAA. What is that? Naphthalene acetic acid. Very, very important. Naphthalene acetic acid. It is helpful in fruit thinning. It helpful in act as fruit thinner and also prevent your fruit drop. Okay. Next one is your what? 2,4-D. That is effective herbicide. Yes or no? You see two uh, things are there. If you are using this 2,4-D less than 20 ppm, then what will happen? They act as fruit setting hormone. But if it will be used more than 20 ppm, then it will be known as what your act as what your herbicide. Okay. Next one is your what Dicamba, that is also active herbicide. Okay. So this is all about your what hormone auxin. Next. Next, coming to your cytokinin, here you can see. It promotes cell division. Uh, not much about this. It promotes cell division. Next one is your what? Giberlins. Okay, third one. What is the function? Stimulate cell elongation. Very, very important. Increase the fruit size and seed dormancy breaker. Suppose some seeds are there, that is dormant. It is not germinating. For them, what will happen? Giberlins are used. Stimulate cell elongation, increases the fruit size, and these are acting as a breaking the seed dormancy. Next one is your abscessic acid. It is known as anti -gibberlin. What is the function of gibberlin? You can see they help in breaking the dormancy. So what is the function of abscessic acid? Dormancy inducer. Here the induced dormancy will be there. Whatever the dormancy you suppose you want inside the seed, if you apply this one, they won't sprout. That means dormancy will be induced in the seeds and also help in stomata closing. That's why it is known as what your anti -gibbling. That means anti-growth. Yes or no? Next one is your what? Ethylene. Okay. Ripening of fruits and isodimetric growth of the stem and roots. That means it should be iso laterally. It should develop. Yes or no? In length also, diameter also, the root formation should be there. For this what happens? Your ethylene used and all of you know that is a fruit ripening hormone. 
where ethyl is used liquid form banana fruit ripening that means ethyl is what this is the liquid form uh, hormone helpful in banana for the fruit ripening mm -hmm. next one is what ethafon it is in the gaseous form it is uh, useful for ripening of sugar cane wheat coffee etc that means two form are there one is ethyl another one is ethafon when ethyl is used for ripening of the banana it, uh, it is in the liquid form where ethafon is used it is in the gaseous phase it is helpful in ripening of sugar cane wheat coffee and all next is your chloroquat okay ccc that is your chloroquat also known as what your psychocell okay it is a what lodging prevent if uh, the plant is undergoing lodging effect then you can apply this chloroquat or ccc okay psychocell next one is what malic hydrazide okay it is also known as water sprout stop the uh, chemical uh, sorry the trade name is just sprout stop that means we can see stopping this sprouting yes or no that is acting as a growth retardant sprout is uh, stopped means what that is inhibiting the growth prevent the onion sprouting in storage you say suppose the onions will be sprouted then what will happen their market value will be reduced that's why under storage condition for onion what will happen they will apply this malic hydrazide so that what will happen sprouting of the onion will be will not be induced okay that is known as what your sprout stop okay so this is all about all seven of the hormones okay oxygen cytokinin zivalin abscisic acid ethylene chlorum quat and malic hydrazide okay with their function we have discussed if any doubt is there you can ask in the comment box and in every video i want to tell you that every time asking you for suggestion if any kind of video you want or any kind of suggestion you can give to improve myself or to do any uh, any other topics then please suggest me in the comment box so that i will try to prepare on that and you can also give some comment on my videos uh, if any good suggestion is there okay so thank you for watching have a nice day